Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the second news on 25th March newspaper front page dawn. A view of a street closed after smart lockdown was imposed in Lakratabad area of Karachi on Wednesday. Right, private, our school teachers, parents, and students hold placards during a protest against the closure of schools in Lahore online. <clears throat> uh, educational institutions in hotspots closed till April 11. My ministry justifies vaccine price fixed for private sector guidelines for AstraZeneca vaccine issued by Ikram Chunedi. Islamabad, as the COVID-19 cases continue to hover above 3,000, the National Command and Operation Center, NCOC, on Wednesday decided to close until April 11 educational institutions in Islamabad, as well as in selected districts of Punjab and Kabul Pakhtunkhwa, where virus prevalence is high. On the other hand, the Ministry of National Health Service Services, NHS, has written a letter to Transparency International Pakistan, TIP, defending the prices of vaccines set for the private sector. Meanwhile, the NCOC data reported 3,301 cases on and 30 deaths in a single day. As many as 364 COVID-19 patients were on ventilators, while the number of active cases had reached 36,849 as of March 24. On Wednesday, during a press education, Minister Shabkat Mahmood said earlier, it had to been decided that educational institutions would remain closed from March 15 to March 28 in cities where the number of cases was high. Later, some more districts were added by uh, provincial governments. It has now been decided to keep educational institutions closed till April 11. However, with rating, uh, federating units will have discretion to include more districts. Administrators of educational institutions can call teachers. We will continue vigilance over the situation, the minister said. We know it will be demanding for the education of students, but we cannot take risks. It was also decided that Board exams will be held this year as it is not possible to promote students again like last year. As far as the Cambridge exams are concerned, they are going to start from April 26. So we will hold a meeting with the relevant administration to discuss if those exams can be extended, he added. The minister said the next meeting of education minister would be held on April 7. He warned of strict action against academies that remained open during this period. The NCOC had eased restrictions on February 24 after a drop in positive cases, but had to reimpose curbs on March 10 when infections surged again. It announced spring vac uh, vacations uh, from March 15 into March 28 uh, in educational institutions in Faisalabad, Gujranwala, Lahore, Gujarat, Multan, Rawalpindi, Sialkot, Islamabad, Muzaffarabad, and Peshawar. However, the center allowed holding of Final examinations, including those of O and A levels. Balochistan and Sindh, meanwhile, were advised to limit attendance to 
On March 22, the government decided to enforce a broader, broader lockdowns and strict mobility, except in emergencies in cities where positivity ratio topped 8%. A decision about educational institutions was to be taken on March 24, AstraZeneca expected in a few weeks. On the other hand, as it is hoped that AstraZeneca vaccine will treat Pakistan in the next few weeks, the NHS ministry has again circulated a guideline regarding vaccine storage, handling, administration, and safe disposal after with um, along with recommendations for vaccine recipient. The document states that the vaccine should be given to individuals who are above 18 years of age and not to those having fever, uh, patients with active COVID-19 and uh, lactating women. Once opened, multi-dose vials should be uh, vials should be used as soon as practically possible and within six hours. Then kept between two degrees Celsius and uh, plus twenty-five degrees Celsius. All opened multi-dose vials uh, should be discarded at the end of immunization session or within uh, six hours whichever comes first, it should be stored between um, um, two degrees Celsius to eight degrees Celsius and should be protected from light, it stated. Transparency International, the NHS ministry has written a letter to the Transparency International Pakistan TIP stating that uh, prices of COVID-19 vaccines had been fixed while keeping in a concentration international market rates and the public interest. TIP chairperson, the retired Justice Nasira Iqbal had asked Prime Minister Imran Khan on March 22 to review the policy of allowing private import of COVID-19 vaccine and to cancel it altogether as across the globe, governments were procuring vaccines and administering them to their citizens for free as it was the responsibility of the state. Justice Iqbal had stated that Pakistan was one of the first countries to allow the private sector to import and to sell such vaccines. This will provide a window of corruption as there are responsibilities that the government's vaccines may be sold into private hospitals, she said. The letter referred to the procurement of Sputnik V, comprising 50,000 doses by the private sector and fixing its maximum sale price at Rs. 8,449 for two doses and that of China's CanSino vaccine at Rs. 4,225 per injection. The global price set for Sputnik V vaccine is $10 per dose, uh, which means that internationally uh, two doses of Sputnik V are available for $20. However, the approved price for its commercial sale in Pakistan is 160% higher than the international price. It may be pointed out that in, in India, a single dose of Gamalia Center Sputnik V vaccine costs less than Indian rupees 734 Indian rupees. With this rate taking into consideration a difference in the currency value system cost of Sputnik V in Pakistan should be rupees 1500. The cost of vaccine in Pakistan is 150% higher than the international market price. Justice Iqbal had highlighted the inter letter. However, NHS Secretary Amir Ashraf Khwaja 
in a letter dated March 24 and available with Don claimed that the government had left room for competition and free market dynamics while fixing the maximum retail price. He claimed that it would not be easy for companies to get vaccines at cheaper rates as they were being sold in millions of um, units and being procured by big players such as countries and international alliances. Whatever number of doses they, they companies can bring, it means potentially saving lives. Mr. Kawaja said, defending the decision of exorbitant prices. And in the end, the formal request, if you have not yet, please subscribe our channel and press the like and bell button to get the press from us. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.